Welcome to Học tiếng Anh với Joseph, where we build vocabulary and practice pronunciation through reading. Hôm nay chúng ta đọc tiếp chuyện thứ 8 trong cuốn The Cat in the Box, nói về nhân vật Evangelista Torricelli và khám phá của ông. Weighing the atmosphere Into the early 1640s the Italian Evangelista Torricelli investigated the problem that water could not be pumped up by suction pump from a well more than about 30 feet or 9 meters deep. The way these pumps work is similar to the way it is possible to suck water into a bicycle pump if the open end is placed below the surface of the water. If you had a very long bicycle pump standing upright in a swimming pool, you would be able to suck water up to just over 30 feet, but no further no matter how hard you pulled on the handle. Torricelli reasoned that the weight of the air pressing down on the surface of the water in the well could push the air in a pipe up this far but no further. So he set out to test the idea using a denser liquid, mercury, instead of water. Mercury is roughly 14 times denser than water, so Torricelli worked out that a column of water 30 feet high must exert the same pressure at its base as a column of mercury a bit more than 2 feet or 60 centimeters high. He found that if a glass tube sealed at one end and full of mercury was stood upright with its open end in a dish of mercury, the level of mercury in the tube would fall to 30 inches or 76 centimeters, leaving a gap above the top of the mercury in the tube and mat- matching his calculation. Matching. The gap contained nothing at all and became known as the Torricelli vacuum. Torricelli noticed that the exact height of the column of mercury in his tubes changed from day to day, and he realized that this was because the pressure of the atmosphere weighing down on the mercury in the dish was changing. He had invented the barometer. Torricelli died in 1647, but his discoveries were taken up and developed by the Frenchman Blaise Pascal, who studied the way the pressure of the air measured by this kind of early barometer varied with the weather. Another Frenchman, René Descartes, visited Pascal in 1647 and suggested that it would be interesting to take a barometer up a mountain to find out how the pressure of the air changed with attitude, altitude. Pascal lived in Paris, but his brother-in-law, Florent Perrier, lived near a mountain, the Puy de Dôme, and in 1648, Pascal persuaded him to do the experiment. Persuaded. Perrier wrote to Pascal to describe what happened. The weather was chancy last Saturday, but around five o'clock that morning, the Puy Dome was visible. I decided to give it a try. Several important people of the city of Clermont had asked me to let them know when I would make the ascent. I was delighted to have them with me 
in this great work. At eight o'clock we met in the gardens of the Mimim Fathers, Minim Fathers, monastery, which has the lowest elevation in town. I first poured 16 pounds of quicksilver into a vessel, then took several glass tubes, each four feet long, and hermetically sealed at one end and opened at the other, then placed them in a vessel. The quicksilver stood at 26 inches and three and a half lines above the quicksilver in the vessel. I repeated the experiment two more times while standing in the same spot. It produced the same result each time. I attached one of the tubes to the vessel and marked the height of the quicksilver and asked Father Justin, one of the Nimim, Minim brothers, to watch if any changes should occur through the day. Taking the other tube and a portion of the quicksilver, I walked to the top of Puy Dome, about 500 fathoms higher than the monastery, where upon experiment, I found that the quicksilver reached a height of only 23 inches and two lines. I repeated the experiment five times with care, each at different points on the summit found the same height of quicksilver in each case. Equally importantly, the priest at the bottom of the mountain reported that the reading on his barometer had not changed during the day. There was less weight of air pressing down at the top of the mountain than the bottom. So the experiment revealed that the atmosphere gets thinner as you go higher and suggests that if you go high enough it will thin out entirely with a vacuum above it like the vacuum above the mercury in Torricelli's tubes. Pascal then carried out a mini version of the experiment by carrying a barometer up about 164 feet or 50 meters to the top of the bell tower at the church of Saint Jacques de la Boucherie. The mercury dropped by two lines. Many people, including Descartes, refused to accept Pascal's interpretation of the evidence and insisted that there must be some invisible substance filling the empty space in the tube and presumably the space above the atmosphere but further experiments eventually proved that Pascal was right. Well, that's the end of story number eight. Now, we will examine just a few words in the vocabulary section. Investigate, that's a verb, investigation investigating, calculate, calculation, calculating, calculating, barometer, barometer, hermetically sealed, atmosphere, invisible and visible, presume, presumption, presuming, Interesting, huh? Presume, presumption, presuming. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. Very fascinating how people would understand the atmosphere through experiment. Without them, we would have no idea what makes up our very own atmosphere. Well, thank you for your time once again and see you in the next story. Bye for now.